And we are on the air, fsbracing.com, on the air, Pro Cup Series, Wednesday night, and roadie tonight at Watkins Glen. Uh, so welcome, uh, we're trying a new medium tonight, uh, new software, and uh, uh, this is a good little test here at Watkins Glen, it's a smaller field tonight uh, on the road course, so uh, we're going to see if... Uh, uh, works out. Uh, of course we're sponsored uh, Pro Cup Series, sponsored by Johnson Truck Lines and we thank uh, uh, Johnson Truck Lines for that sponsorship and uh, we're ready uh, to get this thing on the road here. And As I uh, maneuver this thing here, here we see our track. Uh, our countdown is at zero so we should be uh, progressing to racing very shortly here at Watkins Glen. Uh, glad you can join us. Uh, let's uh, take a quick look here at uh, what we got going on. This happy hour has ended. And you see uh, the session is uh, rounded out. Uh, let's take a quick look at the qualifying here. Uh, Sean Johnson on the pole. Sam Young second. Mark descends a third. As you see, a very small field here tonight. So the guys are going to be uh, picking up points on some guys that didn't uh, uh, get in here. Of course, our points leader, Troy Higgins, Just like I told these boys is the here. We don't need anything over the top today. We got a good race car. We got a good driver. We got a good car. And All we got to do is just everybody carry their weight. We'll be just fine at the end of this thing. 10-4. We are just a few moments away here. As you see, uh, we're going to go 36 laps here at Watkins Glen. Uh, it is a 11 turn. Uh, let's take a look here at Watkins Glen real quickly here as the pace car gets the things uh, uh, field ready. We're going 36 laps here tonight at Watkins Glen International. Uh, this is the 2010 version. Not the ver though there is a version that came with the original game. This is an after uh, aftermarket track or add-on track, if you will. Uh, it's called Watkins Glen 2010, and uh, there you see kind of a, a layout of Watkins Glen and. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it's an 11 turn, 2.45 mile road course. Uh, it's been part of, uh, of course, uh, the NASCAR circuit for a very long time. There you see uh, the fr uh, front straightaway there. And uh, of course they're going to dive down into that uh, downhill uh, slow turn one and it can be treacherous. And uh, once they get back up on the gas they'll be going through the S's here. Uh, full acceleration through the gear second, third, coming out onto the long straightaway fourth. And then down into uh, what we call either the inner loop or bus stop. And uh, as you can see... Uh, we're getting ready for some green flag racing here. Sean Johnson leading the field down. And you can see the elevation here at Watkins Glen is uh, very dramatic, as you saw that uh, uh, uphill climb they go, and then they kind of peek out, and then it's a straight downhill to turn one, and this is a treacherous turn. you got to tiptoe through it to, with the cold tires. Uh, very easy to get into the back of someone with the braking zones being what they are. And you can see uh, Sean and uh, Sam Young... Uh, get off to a clean start and as we go back through the field just to make sure and check on everyone we see everyone seems to be okay rick johnson uh... riding shotgun on the field right now there we see uh... eighty three steve weber eighty eight joe cutter there's uh... nineteen of troy higgins our uh, points leader right now and there we see uh... the twenty nine of jeff hale getting a little wide going down that long straightaway and uh... getting into that inner loop as we call it the bus stop and uh, you got to be careful here. You can carry a lot of speed in from that thing, uh, from that long straightaway, and then uh, it's a it's a hard braking zone. You got to be careful. And we see the uh, 151 of Guy Petra there, uh, motoring on, going through uh, nine, heading into turn ten here. Turn ten, a second gear turn, uh, left hand turn, and uh, set you up for uh, the final corner, corner eleven. And you see the guys. Uh, 
coming through here and now again uh, as you can see uh, you're going up a hill there and uh, turn 11 uh, you can get very uh, light as you turn in and uh, it's another uh, tricky turn that you have to uh, can't lose uh, focus on you now and we see a guy going into turn one there's that turn one drop in elevation and kind of an off camber turn and guy uh, negotiates it very well and uh, closing in on the back bumper of Ken Ron there and we see uh, 99 of Pops Marcus and there he goes he got a little squirrely and big wreck and of course no cautions here no cautions uh, so this can get hairy as Jeff Hale now gets in in the 19 car and we got carnage here uh, these guys are gonna have to get themselves sorted out and they they go on there's moderate damage here so again uh, uh, you can um, uh, survive a, a brush uh, you, that doesn't mean you can use the whole car up and be fine but we can see everyone seems to have gotten going uh, there we see Pops uh, really took a hard hit there. No cautions on FSB road course racing. Uh, moderate damage, no cautions. Of course, uh, Pops uh, lost control there uh, in the S's. And we can see uh, the 96 of Jim Ray there uh, was in the inner loop, uh, stopped. Uh, I don't know uh, if he, uh, Jim might have ran off there. There we see Pops. Uh, guys are still kind of in disarray here. And uh, we see Jeff Hale and Joe Cutt. Uh, going side by side as we go up the hill uh, across the top start finish line, so that was a that was a not a, the one of the probably worst areas uh, for an incident to occur, uh, just because it's so tight with those guardrails there, uh, the Armco as they call them. Uh, the real drivers, of course, uh, very critical of the Armco barriers uh, that they kind of slingshot you back into the track and. Uh, causes uh you know obviously a chance to get very badly injured or or uh worse and uh we just saw in the real Watkins Glen race uh that just was uh concluded over this past weekend a uh, big uh, big wreck with uh I believe it was Ryan Newman uh who lost control uh coming out of uh it was a uh, turn 9 he came out of lost control and hit the armco kind of shot back into the track in a big hard hit uh by uh, a guy that i can't recall as a young kid uh and uh just destroyed both cars amazing uh, they both walked away from it to tell you the truth uh, it was a very bad accident and uh, that's what they were talking about so the armco barriers uh, let's uh, use new vocabulary here only for road course racing and uh, speaking of that there we see uh, the 151 a guy Petra coming into the pits uh, right now we're on lap 4 of 36 so obviously much too early for any kind of pit action but uh, there might have been some lockups there uh, to avoid that incident and uh, of course there might be some damage too and uh, you might want to get it fixed here you, if you're good enough and guy certainly is is good enough here uh, you might not lose a lap and we are watching uh, the monitor here and we'll uh, keep an eye on Sean Johnson Sean Johnson going into turn 10 and guy Petra now going into the S's so guys should be able to stay out ahead of him uh, guy is a very good road course racer probably one of FSB's best and um, when he gets uh, he gets his groove on here uh, he'll tick off some very fast laps so uh, now he has some motivation as well to stay out in front of the leader so we'll see uh, how guy does uh, going back to the leader and there is our leader Sean Johnson and as uh, we take a quick look here lap five Sean uh, in first Mark descends a second Sam Young third the 29 of Jeff Hale in that big scramble you can see that basically the top three have now uh, are on their own and uh, it, it could already be a three car race uh, of course uh, uh, any of these guys run off uh, which uh, even despite their skill can b can happen uh, of course that can rapidly change here but you can see the the intervals there 17 seconds back to Jeff Hale and then all the way back to uh, Pops who of course was involved uh, lost it looked like uh, got a little loose in the S's caught on the grass uh, was along for the ride then uh, hit the armco came back out and uh, uh, 
couple guys, uh, Ken Ron especially, uh, went for a, a tumble. Uh, 83, the 19, the 52, all involved in it as a 151 at Guy Petra, also involved in that. And uh, everyone seemed to get going. Everyone, No one pitted except, I believe, uh, the 151. Let's take a look here. Yes, you can see... Uh, when he, he'll cross back the line there, we'll see his, his interval right now. That was his previous interval. Uh, but Sean Johnson now uh, working the S's. Uh, Mark Desenza, though, right on his back bumper. And uh, teammates, local motorsports teammates here. So I uh, wouldn't expect any miscommunications. If the Mark's going to make a pass, I think uh, Sean will be well aware of it and either will or will not allow it. And right now, uh, Sean is uh, keeping his car out front, Mark second. Uh, Sam coming into that picture, you could just see him uh, as we get into what they call the carousel turn here. As uh, they loop around and uh, uh, come off onto the short chute here and then down into turn 10. As I said, turn 10, second gear turn. Uh, they'll accelerate through it and stay in second gear. Uh, no shifting here. And then some may shift into first, uh, getting into turn 11 which takes us onto the front straight. Uh, some may leave it in second. And you can see that our top three are all together right now. And uh, you see them coming down the hill now to turn one. Turn one, of course, a first gear turn. you got to be very slow and careful. Sean getting in a little early there, getting up on the curb, and that can uh, really upset the car here. So uh got to be uh, a little conservative in turn one. And then uh, you can be a little aggressive in the rest of the course, which is uh, a fairly benign course, we'll call it, for road course racing. Uh, the inner loop, of course, is a little challenging as uh, that's what we're approaching right now as they come down the, the fastest part of the course right here, 175 miles an hour, down to, uh, oh, uh, uh, as we see uh, Sean there, 98 miles an hour entering uh, turn 9 here. And this is where I was talking about uh, uh, Ryan, maybe it was Ryan Newman, uh, got squirrely right about here, came off the Armco, and there was a big hit on cars following them just like these guys are uh, but right now no hits here while wow. first second and third all together turn 10 uh, coming out on turn 11 completing another lap here at Watkins Glen uh, going back you see uh, Sam now really pressing uh, uh, the top two here so Sam's got a really good ride here and uh, I was watching him in practice and boy he was throwing that car around like nobody's business but um in the race, you got to be a little more conservative on those tires, Sammy. I, I think he knows that. He, of course, he's a great uh, short track racer, uh, super speed race, and now uh, he's showing you, flexing his uh, his road course skills here and looking very good so far to start this race here as we're only on lap 8 uh, of 36. 40% of the 100% distance, 90 laps is what the pros do. Uh, where we see our top three is still uh, bundled together. Let's uh, take a look back now at the rest of the field here. We see the 29 of Jeff Hale, uh, 303 of Ken Ron. Uh, Ken went uh, up onto his uh, roof and came back onto his tires, and he just kept going. Uh, and that's the moderate damage does allow him to take a little of that beating. And let's, uh, I'm sure when he goes in for a pit stop, he may uh, have the crew there uh, knock a few knock a few uh, dents out of that thing but uh, right now uh, he's running well he's trying to run down Jeff Hale uh, we see Joe Cutter and uh, Steve Weber right behind uh, Ken so uh, these uh, four have now separated from the 19 of Troy Higgins who uh, was also involved in that incident I don't think a lot of contact or damage I should say there was contact uh, but not, I don't think, a whole lot of damage for Troy. I think if there does show damage, it would be quickly uh, repaired in the pits. And uh, he'll be able to do his field. And then we see the 151 of Guy Petra. And as I said, Guy laying down some probably really good laps here. Let's check fast laps. And we see that the 151 is the fastest uh, lap at a 114.1. Uh, we saw some 113s in practice as well. So uh, I, I would expect to see a, a few 113s as the race wears on. And uh, you see our leader, Sean Johnson, uh, fourth fastest time. So you see, you can you don't have to be the fastest car to be uh, leading the race. You just have to be uh, smooth and, and put your car in front. It's all about track position. Uh, Guy Petra right now, the fastest car, but in, uh, unfortunately uh, was also involved in that early uh, incident. 
Uh, right now he's showing in ninth place. Uh, Rick Johnson and uh, Pops behind him. Uh, as we go there, we see Rick is actually in the pits now, getting his first stop of the night. Uh, lap 9, so uh, Rick making it a three-stop race. 9 uh, and 18 and then uh, uh, 27. And then uh, he'll be done for the night. So Rick uh, go keeping the strategy. And then we see Pops uh, going by uh, Rick most likely here as uh, Rick exits the pit. Pops going down turn 1. Uh, or going down the front straight, excuse me, into turn one. And there we see turn one. And Rick uh, is just getting into the S's. So Pops uh, uh, will have some catching up to do. Rick on fresh tires. Let's see uh, what he can do. As we uh, go back up, uh, we see our uh, top three again. Sam Young, uh, the six of Mark Descenza, the five of Sean Johnson, one, two, and three. Or I should say three, two, and one, respectively there. There we see Sam uh, giving up just a bit of ground there on the top two. There we see teammates, uh, Boca Motorsports teammates, five and six. Sean Johnson, Mark Desenza heading into ten again. We're clicking off these laps. Uh, Sean uh, uh, won the Sportsman uh, Division race on Monday night here at Watkins Glen. Uh, he was... Uh, class of the really the class and mark uh, as we speak uh the six car gets onto the inside and this is a passing zone here in turn one if you can keep it low down here mark gets up a little high up onto that hump and sean does the old over under move and he gets underneath them and they get into the s's and sean will keep the lead and uh that's one of the the dangers of trying to pass into turn one you gotta really woe it down uh, when you take that inside line and uh, you saw that when Mark got into the one he had to drift it up a little high up onto that hump uh, and uh, you can you can ride that hump and uh, but it also can upset the car if you hit it just wrong but it looked like everything uh, sorted itself out Sean back assuming the lead uh, so a little excitement there uh, on lap 11 and uh, Sam uh, with the best seat in the house to see that move. And there we see now an interesting move. Mark on the outside, Sean on the inside. You got inside line uh, is definitely the preferred line here. And that lets Sam get a good run on Mark Desenza. So uh, Mark uh, maybe uh, uh, wanting to get that car out front right now. And uh, the top three again are really uh, glued to each other. And as we uh, look back on the run in order, uh, we see uh, the 29 of Jeff Hales now is uh, 30 seconds back. Uh, the, so the top three not only are running uh, hard against each other, but they're really just completely pulling away from the field. Uh, they were, what, in the 20s before. Now they're in uh, all in the 30s all the way to 52. And uh, Pops, of course, uh, one lap down now. Um, but that uh, damage that I'm sure he was uh, forced to uh, uh, fix. And uh, Rick, of course, making that pit stop also went a lap down. So as long as Rick can uh, keep the car clean and uh, at, at speed, he'll, he'll make that lap up on the leader's pit. Uh, I would suspect uh, if they're doing 12, 24, 36, uh, 12, this is lap 12. So that, that could be a, a, a two-strap strategy here, uh, which I think would be most likely uh, we see Sam whoa hi oh Sam and there we see he was a uh, very fast entering pit road it looked like uh, but Sam doing uh, as I said uh, a, a classic two strop strategy here uh, the the leaders uh, continued on the five and the six Sam now has elected to uh, go off sequence with the leaders and he got in hot there but did not overshoot it Nice job there by Sam. Uh, tires being changed. Remember they do the uh, left sides. Now the right side's going on. Usually it's right sides and left sides. Of course, road course opposite direction. And uh, he's out in the way. And I'll be very interested to know if uh, Sam got a black flag there. Because, boy, he came in hot. Uh, not that you uh, automatically get one. Uh, there are uh, guys who are masters at it. And uh, Sam is certainly... Uh, uh, a, a veteran of uh, 
entering pit lane and knows how to do it. So we'll see here as uh, Sam comes back out now after his service. So he's good. Uh, we see the, the 19 of Troy Higgins. Uh, he's in showing in eighth place. Uh, last car on the lead lap. Of course, a uh, lap here at uh, Watkins Glen, about a minute and 15 seconds. Uh, we see the 88 of Joe Cutter now has uh, officially retired from the race. Uh, probably some damage there by from Joe Cut and also in, involved in that uh, melee incident uh, with about what it was that uh, eight car incident. But uh, Troy Higgins uh, keeping keeping the car as clean as he can, uh, trying to log laps and uh, see what he can do. You can see he's not too far. Uh, See, uh, let's see here. There's the 29 of Jeff Hale. Uh, 303, 151, 83, and they're uh, trying to find the uh, 19 car. Uh, so now the 19 has gotten ahead of the 29. So I'm um, trying to keep up here. Wow, there's been a ton of changes. And uh, we're on lap 14, and we're looking at Troy Higgins there, going through that inner loop, as they call it. Uh, Troy currently showing now in the fourth position. Uh, so, uh, I think some pit stops have been occurring, and uh, I'm sorry if I sound confused, but uh, I'm trying to uh, keep up here with uh, the changes. Uh, we see the six of Mark Desenza. And uh, we see now... Mark crosses the line. He's nine seconds behind. And there we I see uh, his teammate, Sean Johnson. There we see our new leader, the 98 of Sam Young. So Sam pitted early, uh, one one lap earlier uh, than Sean. And uh, now uh, it's paid off. And Sam did not get a black flag, obviously, as he enters uh, the carousel turn there. And uh, he's putting uh, pressure on Rick Johnson to put him a lap down. So we see that there are currently 10 cars on the lead lap, but Rick is about to go a lap down to make it 9 cars. Uh, the second place, Sean Johnson there in the background. And, uh, yeah, these guys are uh, laying down some laps here. Uh, let's, uh... That's, uh... I'm Petra, of course, uh, set the uh, fastest uh, lap of the race currently. Let's uh, let's ride with uh, him. Let's ride with Guy Petra and do a lap uh, here at Watkins Glen. Uh, taking a look at our uh, fast laps, Guy Petra is still holding the fast lap. Uh, we do see that Sam Young here as uh, we're closing in on halfway uh, part of the race here. Um, Sam Young is our new leader. Sean Johnson uh, led from the pole. Uh, now we're uh, coming down the front stretch here at Watkins Glen. You can see uh, I'm making a move here. And this is where you can make passes going into turn one. You can see the steep elevations uh, coming down. Slow first gear turn there. Uh, coming out hard on the acceleration going into second. Uh, taking this first S and second, shifting uh, to third in the second S. And then uh, sweeping out onto the fastest part of the course and the longest straightaway on the course. 170 plus miles an hour as you can see him uh, about 174 inner loop here. You can see he's really aggressive over the curbs and that's the way you want to attack this inner loop. And now we're getting into that carousel turn, turn nine. And you can see he wants to keep it low. He's pedaling the car in second gear. 
about 100 miles an hour and you see full acceleration through the gears again to fourth and then uh, we're entering turn 10 here with second gear turn so another hard braking getting down low to that curbing and hard acceleration off and final turn 11 again you can see that sweeping angle there very easy for the car to get loose there and you see very nicely done in second and in the third crossing the line and there's a lap of Watkins Glen uh, and you see the very fast laps here at Watkins Glen just a minute and change and Guy Petra right now uh, after that early pit stop he did not lose a lap he's shown in sixth place uh, so good job by Guy Petra and that's what the, the, the speed uh, will do for you uh, riding now with Sean Johnson here in second place as uh, he looks toward the leader now uh, as you see Sean cross the finish start finish line uh, a lot of guys have different techniques uh, Sean down in the first gear you see the car getting a little squirrely accelerating out of first and uh, down low into that curvy accelerating out of uh, the second S and now onto the long straightaway drafting is uh, a possibility here if you're close and you can get uh, in the 170 plus plus range and we see Sean about the same speed as Guy Petra about 174 see Sean uh, coming through the inner loop nice and smooth uh, a lot of speed and smooth and you can see he's really gained uh, on our leader uh, who's right ahead of us there the 98 of Sam Young and you can see Sean just uh, clicking off the laps here uh, getting that acceleration it carries you out wide there and that's okay that's a preferred line actually again a hard braking turn 10 uh, down low against that curving and when you carry that speed you carry yourself out there that way and that's that's okay too uh, it doesn't mean you're going slower because you're really uh, moving the car there in those turns and Sean accelerating again through the front straightaway here and making some inroads uh, to our leader uh, so you see a uh, 114 uh, and a half by uh, Sean Johnson fastest lap of the race is just a 114.1 so he's just a few tenths off the fastest lap of the race as we race here halfway through at Watkins Glen International we're watching uh, our second place uh, ride with Sean Johnson up ahead of uh, our leaders uh, who these are the guys uh, battling to stay on those that lead lap we see the 19 of Troy Higgins uh, in danger of uh, going a lap down now uh, and that will leave uh, just eight cars on the lead lap and there we see the next one to uh, uh, be challenged uh, to stay on the lead lap and that's the 99 uh, Pops Margison uh, who I'm sure has a, a wounded car right now but he's he's another excellent road course racer and uh, uh, I would expect him uh, to if the car allows it to be running uh, very fast laps uh, 303 at Ken Ron uh, there we see uh, in fifth place now Guy Petra Guy continues to make inroads here. He's uh, five seconds now, uh, a little less than five seconds behind the 29 car of Jeff Hale, who's uh, run a very uh, conservative race. He got away from that uh, melee uh, better than others. Uh, don't know how much damage was there, uh, but he's uh, soldiering on here, and uh, he's holding the fourth position as well. And unfortunately for Mark DeSenza, uh He uh, has fallen 10 seconds behind our uh, first and second place runners. Uh, of course, we remember watching early on the top three were a blanketed. Uh, Mark having a, a little more trouble in the pits, it appears. And uh, that translates to a, a 10 second uh, disadvantage for him uh, in trying to catch those leaders as uh, we're hitting, uh, if you're uh, on that 312-24 uh, 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 strategy uh, lap 24 is the, the next magic number for uh, let's say Sam Young uh, who's currently our leader as uh, we move on up here we we'll see the five of Sean Johnson in second Sean pitted uh, a lap later uh, so lap 14 for Sean lap 13 for Sam and we see our, our top two there coming through the S's 
And uh, 19 of uh, Troy Higgins there uh, battling to stay on the lead lap. Uh, Sam getting a good run. Now this is, uh, uh, like I said, a drafting situation for Sam. So he's got to be careful. He will carry a lot more speed than you think uh, when you're drafting there. Uh, and you can see Sam really hanging that car out like I was saying in practice. That's what he was doing. And uh, he continues to, to do that. That's the that's the only gear he has. He might go through second, third, and fourth, but he only has H for high. Uh, high gear. High gear Sammy. And uh, he's uh, really throwing that car around these turns here at Watkins Glen. And uh, he's leading the race. So uh, who am I to say that he shouldn't do it? And we see Troy Higgins there getting a little loose. And hard contact with the five car. Oh, man, that's bad luck for Sean there. Uh, quickly uh, taking a look at, at his car. We don't see a whole heck of a lot of visible damage. Uh, but, man, uh, major disaster appears to have been averted. But uh, Troy Higgins... Uh, Got a little loose there in, in uh, turn 11, and like I said, the car can get light there, and it didn't. As he uh, came around, uh, he came right down in front of Sean, uh, who had nowhere to go, and uh, he did bounce off of Troy, and he keeps going. Uh, and there he is, and there's Sam. So... Uh, We'll see uh, how that affects uh, Sean uh, for the rest of this race. He, you can still see uh, they're both in the picture still, so uh, it could have been a, a complete disaster for Sean there if uh, he would have went into a wall or got completely turned around and lost you know, 10, 15 seconds right there. That could have been devastating. Uh, that did not happen, but we see he is going into the pits here. Sean Johnson into the pits. As is the 99 of Haas Margeson. Uh, so Sean is into the pits. Uh, we are on lap 23, so it's a bit premature. But uh, you can do much. Uh, Fuel-wise, you can definitely do it. Tire-wise, that's why I was saying 12 laps. You, the tires can get pretty worn. Uh, 12 laps is a perfect time to come in. Uh, but, of course, Sean did uh, maybe suffer some damage, and he wants to get that addressed right now. And then he's going to drive the wheels off the car, and if he finishes in second or third, I think he'll, he's willing to accept that. Uh, so if there was any uh, repair of damage, they got it done uh, during the tire stop. And he comes out of the pits, and away he goes. And uh, let's see if we can catch up with Sammy now. Uh, and there we see Sam. So now we're on lap 23 here. So uh, let's we'll take a look at Sam and see what he uh, decides to do. There we see the picturesque Watkins Glen. Look at the green grass everywhere. Full house, full stands, uh, RV camping, infield, grandstand seats, grassy knoll seats. Uh, you see the elevation. We can appreciate some elevation here. As uh, we, this is what we call the spectator uh, camera. You see the, all the RVs. There we see uh, the long straightaway and the inner loop there at the bottom left of your picture. Uh, See all that beautiful trees and green grass here in upstate New York, Watkins Glen, uh, Lake Seneca in the distance. Uh, I don't think it's true that if you uh, go out the go out to, to your left there that you can actually drive off the track and into the hills there. I don't think that's true. Uh, so don't believe that rumor. Uh, we see Sam here uh, coming down uh, toward pit lane. So let's see what Sam uh, chooses to do here. One more lap. Nope, he's disciplined, folks. And in comes our leader. In comes our leader. Uh, let's come back to, uh, we see uh, Ken Ron, who I believe uh, went a lap down. We'll now get that lap back. Uh, I'm trying to find uh, Mark DeSenza here.
trying to find Mark Senza. <laughs> Not having much luck at finding. There, 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 there he is. There's the six car. Let's take a look. Uh, where are we here? Okay, he's crossing the start finish line and. <clears throat> it shows that he. Kind of confusing here for me now as we hit lap 25 of 36. Uh, and looking at uh, the running order, our leader is Sam Young. He is showing in uh, P1. I don't think the scoring is completely updated yet, folks, so bear with me uh, in uh, the running order here at the road course. It takes a while for guys to get around and pit stops and whatnot, so let's see when uh, Sam gets around here uh, what, how this hashes out. Uh, there we go. Okay. So now Sean Johnson is in the lead with that early earlier pit stop, so... Uh, the, the the cat and mouse game is going on. Sam pitting early, not and Sean. I don't know if he felt he needed the pit early after that incident or not. But um, now Sean Johnson is showing in the lead. This is uh, I I feel uh, more confident in saying Sean Johnson is your leader now with pit stops uh, mostly completed. Uh, Sam in second there, but they're both uh, in touch with each other. Sam really working that inner loop there, uh, jumping those curbs, getting hard into turn nine into the carousel turn. And uh, he really wants to hunt Sean down here. And we can see uh, up ahead, though, uh, uh, an incident there uh, with guys scattering the 19, the 99, and uh, the 30, no, oh, the 83 there. Uh, all kind of came together. 19 is uh, heading into the pits. And our leaders come around there. We see Sean Johnson uh, taking uh, turn one. Troy Higgins taking the pit lane. And there we see a third place. Mark Descenza still about 10 seconds behind. So after the exchange of uh, green flag stops, uh, the top two have changed hands uh, again after the first uh, green flag stops. Of course, all stops the green flag here with no cautions. Um, Some speed shots here, uh, riding with uh, Sam Young. See, so you take that inner loop. You can really uh, feel that speed here that Sam uh, puts in that car. See him getting down right onto that low line. Accelerating out of the carousel and down into turn 10 again. And uh, again. Down through the gears. You can see Sean uh, right behind, right in front of him there, and Sammy uh, tracking him well. Coming out of one, into two, into the S, as what they call the S's. Uh, there's turn two, three, and four. And coming out of five here. Uh, and then into the inner loop. And we can see that uh, Sam has closed in here now on Sean Johnson. So this will uh, probably be uh, the the le the winning uh, driver will be the 5 or the 98. I know that's really going out on a limb here with uh, uh, just uh, eight laps remaining. Mark Desenza uh, has 
slightly uh, eaten into the lead there, 9.4. Uh, he was a little over 10, so uh, about a half second gain by Mark Desenza. So a nice job there by Mark. And uh, if these two guys get the race and uh, uh, back and forth, like if you know one takes the lead and the other guy comes back and take the mark, can certainly uh, make up ground as they slow each other, uh, trying to make passes here. Anytime you make a pass here at Watkins Glen, uh, your lap time will suffer. Uh, so uh, let's see uh, if these if Sam uh, elects to make one pass only, or if he's going to try to make an early pass here and and make it stick. Uh, that will be an interesting decision that uh, Sam will have to make. Number one, number two, lap 29 here of 36 at Watkins Glen International. Uh, 2.45 mile road course after all these laps. They're still just separated by just about a tenth of a second here. As Sam gets to the inside of uh, Sean in turn one. Again, very dicey. Forced Sean out a little wide, it looked like. Sam a little loose there too, getting on acceleration, and uh, Sean able to hold him off. But as I said, as they get the battle in, this will help Mark Desenza. As we see Mark now entering the S's, as uh, they go through about the middle of the S's, and Sam makes another move here on the straightaway. This is the fastest part of the course. They go in side by side into the inner loop. Sean still uh, showing the way. That was a bold move by Sean onto the outside of the inner loop there, and he hit it just right. Very nice uh, driving there by Sean Johnson. But Sam is not going to give up here. He's really pressing him hard. Uh, it's go time for Sam. And uh, he's right on the back bumper of Sean Johnson. Uh, this is probably not a good place to pass here. I would say he's going to follow him. Uh, maybe uh, turn 11 is a passing opportunity if he stayed low there. Uh, he elects not to make that pass. Let's see if he can uh, give him another go into one. This time, it uh, looks like Sean has enough lead. Sam content on following this time through uh, turn one, and they get through both successfully. Uh, bringing up the scoring pylon again, we see that Mark Desenza now only 6.9 seconds. So that uh, little uh, battle there cost him, uh, oh, what, about two and a half seconds uh, or so. Two seconds. And uh, if they continue to do that, it'll cost him another two seconds and another two seconds, and we'll have a three car battle again. Uh, so uh, let's see if that happens as uh, Mark Desenza now uh, might feel a little surge of adrenaline. As he sees his, uh, his interval uh, falling, uh, that pumps you up when you see that you're gaining on the leaders. There we see Mark in the background there, just coming out of the carousel as uh, Sean and Sam getting into turn 10. So he's about one full turn behind them. And here comes Sam again, uh, diving down low in turn one. And de he definitely has a nose on him this time. Let's see what happens. They go wide again. D you can do this here. And it's okay. And you can see Sean Drew in a great job. They're going wide, but keeping the speed up. Uh, not the best place to enter side by side in the S's. Uh, not a good place to uh, be racing. Uh, but they come through to the top of the S's onto the far uh, fr far back straightaway, the fastest part of the course again. Sam Young has reassumed the lead. Uh, Sean Johnson back to second. And you can see him getting up on two wheels into the inner loop, uh, but hanging on to it nicely. Uh, so Sam now is uh, uh, has reassumed the lead. There's Mark Desenza now in third. 
Uh, that pass obviously cost him more time, and you can see now, Mark, uh, certainly uh, coming out of the turn nine before they're getting in to ten, as you remember. Oh, and Sean goes straight and into the kitty litter, does, and he's retired. Wow. I'm uh, stunned at the turn of events here. Sean Johnson ran off course and tire. Uh, it looked like he, he, a blown tire or something uh, from Sean Johnson, and he is out of the race, unfortunately. Uh, so Sean, after being on the pole, leading a bunch of laps here, having a great battle with Sam uh, for that lead, uh, is now out of the race, unfortunately. Uh, so that leaves Mark Desenza now into second, five seconds behind Sam Young with just four laps remaining. Uh, so uh, a big blow uh, there for Sean. Uh, it says tire. I've not, I can't tell you that I've seen that one very often. I don't know if that means uh, he had like a, a, a fatal tire damage, such as like when you lose an engine, or if uh, he got a flat tire there. And wasn't able to stop, and then once he was in the kitty litter, uh, as we affectionately call the gravel there, uh, as you see, um, he, he, with a flat tire, I don't think you could get out of it. Uh, uh, even with a, a, a healthy car, if you go in there, it could take you a long time to extricate yourself. So uh, we'll have to uh, see if we can find out what happened to Sean Johnson, but really unfortunate there. A uh, very dominant car, looked great all race. Uh, so, uh, bad break there for Sean. Sam uh, Young, no. Uh, good break for Sam. He has, he uh, now has a, a, wouldn't say a, that he can cruise uh, from here. Uh, but with just uh, three laps, about two and a half laps remaining now, uh, he can s probably tell that Mark's uh, there in the background. Uh, he knows that uh, the interval has dropped from five to three and a half, so Mark ends up picking up about a half second uh, uh, in that last lap there. So Mark's car may be the better of the two cars. Uh, that we'll we'll see uh, from these last two laps, but we can see uh, also uh, confronting uh, Sam Young here is, is traffic, and whether these guys uh, move over or not, it can. Uh, just cost you that extra, you know, half second to get around them cleanly and 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 know that you're you're doing it the right point at the right time. If you choose the wrong time to pass and you either don't complete it or or have to slow down and stay behind, uh, that could really cost you a lot of time. So you got to really be careful here if you're Sam. Uh, he has caught these guys. Uh, we see Mark Desenza coming into your picture there on the bottom. Uh, coming up now into the S, so he's about one S behind now. Uh, so Mark making up over 10 seconds of time here, and coming on to our uh, back straightaway, 83-99. Uh, last cars on the lead lap. Sam Young, our leader. Uh, take a look here. Uh, we're on uh, two laps remaining. So let's. Uh, Let's follow uh, Sam here as he'll get, be getting the white flag. There we see Mark Desenza uh, on the same straightaway now as Sam. Sam getting into 10. There we see the 99 and 80, uh, 83 right ahead of him. Uh, we see uh, Mark Desenza getting out of uh, 10 there as Sam's getting into 11. So uh, can Mark can Mark do it? as we are on the white flag lap one lap remaining traffic will be a factor here maybe we see just three seconds separating one and two uh... pops from argus in there in the ninety ninety eighty three is steve weber are the last cars on the lead lap as you can see here just seven cars on the lead lap uh, and there's our leader sam young in the predator impala Add vision. Uh, last time into the carousel for Sam. 
he's r r riding that carousel a lot tonight and uh, I'm sure he's ready to get off the carousel ride and he's ready to roll into victory lane as he comes down into turn 10 so just uh, two more turns for Sam and he will be the Watkins Glen uh, winner here in Pro Cup uh, very conservative line there uh, through 10 uh, and very conservative uh, through 11 as well but it does not matter because Sam Young is your winner Mark descends a second and Guy Petra who uh, fought back from uh, earlier uh, incident drove the wheels the wheels are about to fall off that car as he crosses the start finish line for the last time but he will finish on the lead lap in third place and that's a great account I mean that's a great drive by guy Petra uh, that's the drive of the race for sure uh, to go uh, basically back to front and and did it and stayed on the lead lap and he's rewarded as he crosses the line with a third place finish good job guy Petra and I'm sure Jeff Hale here uh, will be very happy uh, with a fourth place finish has uh, come down to take it and there's Jeff Hale our fourth place finisher good job Jeff Ken Ron our top five rounding in and out Ken Ron fifth place uh, also involved in the melee and there uh, we see uh, Pops and uh, Webb finishing out our lead lap cars. So s there it is. Race is showing complete, folks. So let's take a look at our official running order. And it is official. Ma Sam Young, your Watkins Glen winner. Mark Senza with a great ride back. He was over 10 seconds down. Finishes just one and a half seconds down. Great run by Mark on that final stint. Uh, Guy Petra again, we just said, uh, uh, down and out early in the race. Early pit stop. Uh, fought fast lap. Clean lap after lap. Consistent laps. And he pulls off a quality third place finish. Jeff Hale uh, probably... Uh, I, don't want to uh, uh, upset him or anything uh, but maybe uh, he might tell you that he's probably not known as a road course racer but a fourth place finish would make you think he is so great run by Jeff and a, and a great run by Ken as well uh, who again these guys had some damage and uh, you know when when that happens you your mindset gets all twisted around and weird and um, The fact that these guys uh, kept it together uh, is a great job and finishing on lead lap as uh, Pops came back from that incident. Uh, Pops again it looked like he got onto the grass. I don't know if uh, he got. A, I think he might have got a little loose, chased the car just a bit, but there's no margin for error there in the S's. If you get off the track just a tick, you're in the grass. And as soon as he hit the grass, he was along for the ride. He slid a little. He bounced off the Armco. Uh, came in front of a few people. There was a uh, wrecking. Uh, people behind the the initial wreck. Uh, loaded down as best they could that caused some spins uh, some other contact maybe not as dramatic as the initial contact uh, Ken Ron going flipping through the air uh, but finishes fifth so I guess he should say uh, flip me through the air uh, more and uh, I'll be happy <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah great run there uh, let's see uh, if I can get a quick word uh, uh, in edgewise here with uh, our race winner Sam Young uh, he's probably talking right now, but let's see if I can steal him up here. Sam Young, uh, Greg in the booth here. Sammy, big win. Congratulations. Hey, wow, Greg, thank you so much. And, uh, it was just, that was a lot of fun between Mark, uh, Sean, and I, uh, racing up there in front and hope we put on a good show because it sure felt like we was. Oh, yeah, the, you were, I could throw a blanket around you in that first stint, um, you uh you were obviously on the the 
the 1224 strategy it looked like uh, and uh, you stu you stayed disciplined to it how about when Sean came out ahead of you in that last uh, the last uh, exchange of stops there did you know he, he had some damage there um, I had seen uh, the, the 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 19 in spun in front of me, and I ducked low, and I seen that it, it collected uh, the five, and it kind of five kind of got through it, and I was kind of wondering if if Sean had had some damage from that because uh, I wasn't sure. If, and he seemed to short pit, um, and he came out ahead of me, and I didn't know if I was going to catch him. Yeah, he uh, he ran one more lap, I think maybe to get back up to speed because he yeah he he kind of bounced off the front end of Troy, didn't lose any control of the car though and kept going, uh, but yeah he did short pit and then when he came out in front of you I was like wow maybe uh, there is no damage and uh, uh, Sam uh, maybe was taking it a little easy when he saw you had uh, that incident and you were gonna have to get up on the wheel there but you. Uh, Two had a great battle there. Well, it was a lot of fun with him. Uh, he was he was just uh, a, a totally disciplined uh, driver. Uh, both both him and Mar oh everybody here. I mean, they're just uh, all very good uh, disciplined drivers. We were commenting on that in the nationwide race tonight. How we went uh, caution free at Dover with 14 cars, and this is just uh, you know where else do they do that? They just don't do it in any other server in any other league anywhere, uh, and that's what separates us from. Uh, from the, the rest of the leagues out there, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, it's what a what a great time uh, it was tonight, and uh, just uh, again, uh, hats off to you guys uh, in the booth, and also uh, Mark and Sean tonight for a great show. Yeah, both of those guys ran a great. Mark uh, was on a rail that last guy as you two battled it out there. He was uh, really taking some uh, chunks of time out, and I was wondering if you you noticed that, and as you two battled, uh, uh, you were bringing him into the picture. I was conscientious of that, but I, I was also trying to keep my tires underneath me because the the twelve twelve strategy there, where there was uh, separating the pit stops into three, uh, two pit stops, and compared to some guys, we're going to probably try one. Um, the the problem with that uh, is that it is using up the tires, especially the right front for some reason really goes away quick. And the way I drive, which is uh, usually right on the edge, I'm not on rails. I'm usually uh, well off the rails and. Uh, I drive the car pretty hard, so um, I had to be careful with the tires in the last run. And I just—I I was very conservative, and I remembered uh, and, uh, somebody else, um, a modified driver, told me he said, "Only a lead, only as much as you need to." So I was uh, cautious with Sean, and when I got in front of Sean, I took it really easy. I saw the—I uh, saw that Mark was coming, but I was basically just conserving my tires. Well, you did a, you did the uh, the right thing. Uh, clean pit. Remember, you came in kind of hot too, and that one point I was kind of worried there that maybe. Uh, uh, you'd get that uh, old black flag, but uh, you, uh, again, right on the edge like you like to run. And that's what I was, I was telling people. Uh, you were really throwing the car into the turns and uh, uh, looking very much like uh, going back to your roots of uh, throwing that car around. Well, the roots are figure eight racing, so you have to make rights and lefts with figure eight racing. <laughs> yeah, and avoid right. that center part. Yeah, that's always fun, too. <laughs> but uh, thanks, Sam, uh, for joining us. Great win. Uh, always good to win at a road course. It's a special. I, 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 it's it's a, something that I uh, have not done, of course, but I, I, I very much want to, and uh, it's a good win. I'll take a Pro Cup win any time. <laughs> yeah, of course, any Pro me. Cup win is I a quality win, one. but a road yeah, course Pro one, Cup so. win is a, a, a double win. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Again, thanks for all you guys did. All right. Thanks, Sam. And uh, I'll bring you back down. Thanks. So uh, there's our winner, Sam Young. As you, you heard him say that, you know, he was uh, uh, trying to keep those tires. He was on that 12-12 strategy, and uh, it paid off. And, of course, something happened with Sean. I, I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, I don't think he is here to uh, find out so unfortunately that's not going to happen but uh, a great uh, great run by uh, Sean uh, great run by Mark Desenza as well uh, and let's see Guy Petra let's see if we can get pull Guy Petra up here remember Guy uh, I want to find out his perspective on that wreck and then uh, uh, what he thought about how he drove the, the wheels off his car uh, getting back to third place let's see if we can drag him up here Mr. Petra, uh, this is Greg in the uh, broadcast booth. Uh, do you have a copy? 
Yes, sir. Go ahead. Well, you had, uh, I, I give you the uh, drive of the race. Um, what happened early there? Uh, Pops had a little issue with his shifter going up the hill, and we had nowhere to go. And uh, we all got piled up there, and I burned up the right front trying to keep it from hitting those guys, so I had to pit early, so I had to make an extra stop. Did you, you, did you avoid damaging the car other than flattening the, car, the tire? Right, no damage. So uh, I, I, we were watching, uh, we were carefully watching you. Uh, you stayed out ahead of the leaders, which I'm sure uh, relieved you. And then, man, you were turning some, the best laps of uh, anyone in the entire race. And all the way back up to third, that's got to feel good for you. Yeah, that worked out. I just, uh, there's no choice but to just run it as hard as I could. All the way through. Yeah, that was an awesome run, and uh, I, you, the fact that you stayed at, out in front of them that very first time when you did that early pit stop, that was, uh, I think, the key to keeping you there. And, uh, yeah, you basically drove through the rest of the field all the way to third. So good job, man. I uh, appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, like I said, that, that's definitely the drive of the race there. Well, thank you very much. I'll take you back to your boys. All right. Later. All right, so there Kai Petra saying, you know, good good perspective there. It looked like maybe Pops possibly missed a shift uh, going into the S's. And uh, uh, like you said, it really uh, narrowed there and it piled everyone up. Uh, no damage to the car, but uh, a, a flat-spotted uh, front tire. And uh, that caused that early pit stop, but uh, it really pulled... Uh, uh, he really pulled it off with a third place finish. So great job by uh, uh, Guy Petra. Of course, our winner Sam Young uh, drove the wheels off his car. Like he says, he's usually not on a rail. He's off the rails, and he was off the rails all night. But uh, he kept it uh, he kept it straight, and uh, that's what you got to do on a road course. You can't run it off. Uh, you could be the fastest car, but you run it off, then don't matter. Uh, but he kept it there, and. Uh, Got a well-deserved Pro Cup win uh, for Sam Young. So that's going to wrap it up. Uh, let's uh, quickly, uh, I have someone in my ear uh, saying that the uh, point standings need to be shown. Uh, yes, yes, we have uh, people in my ear. Uh, let's see if I can bring this up here. Whoop. Uh, uh, this is uh, new broadcast stuff, so bear with me, bear with me. Uh, there we go and uh, as you can see uh, uh, Troy Higgins uh, let me refresh this real quick there we go and as we see uh, we have a new leader Jeff Hale uh, with that quality fourth place uh, drive uh, at Watkins Glen has uh, taken the lead in the Pro Cup standings by four points over Guy Petra and Troy Higgins who was our former leader of course Troy ran into a little issues there uh, at Watkins Glen so uh, a little trouble for Troy uh, a little a quality run for Guy Petra and Jeff Hale and uh, they jump up, and uh, you see it's a great battle there at the front. Just four points uh, for the top three, and then uh, two tied for fourth. Uh, ties all over the place. So we got a tie for second and a tie for fourth. Ken Ron, Steve Weber, just 19 points back. Uh, Sam Young with the big win, uh, his first of the season. Uh, solidly now in the chase in sixth place. Uh, remember, this is a traditional 10 best driver chase no uh, winning in or anything like that here for for our uh, chase here at FSB Pro Cup uh, just top 10 in points uh, wins get bonus points just like the real uh, chase but that's uh, not determined that if you win a race and you're not in the top 10 you get into the into the chase because you will not as you see Robert Bochum now uh, missing this race uh, drops four positions so he is now out of the chase um, 
with that win. Uh, there we see Matt Watkins uh, down in 18th place. Of course, Matt uh, running a limited schedule, so not really uh, thought of to be in the chase. But some guys here uh, took advantage. Pops Markison up three positions from 12th to 9th. So he's in the chase now. Joe Cut falling to staying hanging in there. Mark Desenza solidifying his uh, chase position right now as well. So uh, the points battles are taking shape. You see uh, Mike uh, Galoon uh, uh, did not uh, make this race as well. So he drops uh, from 6th all the way to 12th. Uh, in a tie with uh, boss man Jim Ray, who uh, was a little under the weather, did a yeoman's effort. Uh, they had a, had him hooked up to IVs. They kind of uh, carted him out to the car. They poured him into the car, I heard. Uh, and uh, he managed to uh, drive official laps and earned official driver points. And uh, that's, an iron, that's what an Iron Man does. And uh, Jim Ray... Uh, uh, Gets the car some quality points, stays relevant in the points. Uh, he's just, uh, oh well, uh, 27 points separating now 10 through uh, 10 from 11. So uh, it's quickly uh, these guys got to go. Can't miss any more races, really. Robert Bochum there, as we see, uh, 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 seven points behind uh, Jim and Michael. Uh, so. That's a lot of points, and you guys got to stay on the stick here. And there we see the, also the rest of the Rick Johnson uh, also uh, scoring some points uh, and gaining some ground, picking up two two positions in the race here. So Rick trying to hang in there. Uh, of course, Rick's missed a couple of races as well. So again, this is all about keeping, uh, you know, keeping uh, keeping the schedule. And sometimes you know life gets in the way, and you can't do it. Uh, that doesn't mean, uh, you know, it's the end of the world or anything like that. Okay, so that uh, that uh, wraps it up here for another great uh, Wednesday night Pro Cup race. Uh, there we see Sam Young showing some muscle at Washington's Glen with the big win. Uh, congrats to Sammy. Thank you to Johnson Truck Lines for the sponsorship. Also, uh, this new broadcasting, hopefully this comes out nice and clean and a little larger and uh, uh, graphic-wise cleaner picture, we hope. Um, so uh, I got to thank uh, Derek Justice uh, for, for helping me out, Blazing Pedals. Uh, shout out to him uh, for hooking me up here, and hopefully uh, he's what he'll take a gander at this and say, "Hey, that doesn't look so bad." Uh, so uh, hopefully uh, uh, it comes out. And uh, thanks for joining us. Next broadcast Friday night, Winston Cup at Darlington. Yes, the lady in black. Come on out. Uh, we like big fields. Uh, take tame the lady in black. Come on, tough. They say it's the track too tough to tame. Come on out and tame it and uh, put on a good show. So thanks for joining us. Uh, again, congrats to Sam. Thanks to Johnson Truck Lines. Boss man Jim Ray for running the league like he does and all of the admins and sponsors. So uh, good night, and uh, we'll see you on Friday.